welcome back my lovely darlings to my channel today it's a very very exciting video i uh, wanted to do a video about this particular bag for quite a while but i decided that it's going to be actually great opportunity to talk about like an elegant evening this time evening bags that we would take to the theater we would take with us to maybe a um, nice dinner with friends or a date with um our partner or the boyfriend or whatever whoever evening we could uh, spend with i just want to talk about those kind of like an elegant clutch type of bags the bags that you're going to hold not necessarily they have any like a um they don't really have chance for you to like put them on a chain or anything like that and i think those are like the most like elegant bags they are really those that you're going to hold in your hand and you can see many many times a royalty when they're going for some kind of opera or some kind of black tie events they're going to carry those kind of like a little little or bigger it depends on obviously on trend depends on uh, preference really and um, bag that they're going to hold in their hands the woman they're going to hold the bag in their hands and obviously i'm going to show you lots of different inspiration lots of different pictures i when i was looking for this kind of the bag <laughs> for myself i was inspired by um like kelly small kelly bag from hermes and obviously those bags are really really expensive and you know not everybody can afford it i personally can't afford bag like this but i was thinking about this bag when i was looking for something similar i'm going to put a picture of this bag uh, what i mean uh, right over here but uh, when i was actually looking for a bag to buy something similar sorry about my hair i just don't just wash them literally today right now and still can't find perfect you know <laughs> position for them but anyway the bag um i wanted to buy was inspired wanted to find something that it's going to be uh, inspired by this small airman's bag this very elegant bag and um, i actually managed and i think i prefer the bag that i own just now than the bag uh, of hermes personally uh, which makes me very happy because this is the bag i'm going to have forever honestly this is going to be the bag with me forever i'm going to take it with me to every single event that um, this kind of opportunity like bali or opera or something like this this is going to be my go-to bag and uh, i wanted to talk about this bag i wanted to as well talk about other bags that you can take with you for like a um, evening type of bag and basically completely um, focus on those kind of like elegant bags what should you invest in what should maybe you avoid just to um, basically have this kind of chat about evening um, clutches today uh, the bag I am talking about is this one here so you can either hold it by it's kind of little like a handle when when it comes to like evening or you can just hold it in your hand underneath your arm or you can just hold it like like basically like this and i love it i honestly love it i love the detail of the bag this is the bag from guess um and it's this kind of like a luxe edition it looks like this kind of like a crocodile type, type of um finish um has this kind of like a silver hardware to it um, and obviously there are different colors of the bag I wanted to go for a black one because it's just very very classic color you know you can't go really bad with black when it comes to evening a lot of ladies wear darker colors on the evening like black dresses a dark like navy dresses and for that reason I wanted to have a black bag because I just feel like it's going to be the best color the most versatile and um, it's just perfect for me this is a perfect color for the evening I have different color of the of bags as well but I feel like if I would start with the evening perfect evening bag then I would say that's it you know that's how it looks from the bag and it's quite a big bag so you can obviously fill your wallet you can have your um, right now I just have a filler inside so you can see the shape of it but that's how it looks without there is quite um, honestly there's quite a lot of space inside so you can uh, probably you're not going to see much because it's black everything is black uh, but i just wanted to show you what i personally um 
think that it's perfect bag you obviously can go for something much smaller you can go for something more sparkle ladies i know that even um, going for some um events like opera for example you might choose something that is a little bit more sparkle have a sparkle have a sparkle like evening shoes have a bag that's going to be sparkling as well which is absolutely fine and we're going to talk about them i just wanted to show you my perfect bag because um some of you might um, like it as well and I wanted to show you where you can you can buy it on a guess it was I was very lucky because we bought it when it was Black Friday so from 150 pound I think it's originally is 150 or 155 pounds it was a um, discount and I bought it we bought it for um, 100 pounds so it was really really great deal very very happy happy about this I wouldn't necessarily want to spend 150 pounds but it was just perfect price for the bag 100 quid I think for a bag like this it's absolutely fine when it comes to other evening bags you can as I'm saying see a lot of um, realities most of the times you can find uh, inspiration there you can obviously see celebrities when they're going to some kind of like a evening uh, even like galas when you have the red carpet red carpet galas they always carry some kind of bag and you can get inspired by those ladies as well and it's absolutely fine um as i'm saying black color is just the most classic however i think those kind of sparkling lovely bags even if they have some kind of like a pearls to it and um, even if they have this kind of like a silver type of uh, sparkling gold it's absolutely fine those are just not going to be um so easy to always wear like the black bag is going to be so versatile as i said but if you go for something silver or like very very sparkle then you're not going to wear the bag like this for every single time because people are going to notice that you're using it all the time when with more with neutral colors people don't tend to use they don't they don't tend to see um that using the same bag for um, quite often for example um so that's really the choice is yours if do you really prefer to have something that it's um, a little bit more visible like maybe a, even a red bag or even pink bag because there's nothing wrong to have a bag in a color on some kind of color even for the evening but um, it's just going to be a little bit harder to use it so often with a bag as well when you're actually starting buying an um, evening uh, bags then I feel like starting with black can be as well quite useful you know you're going to use this bag for really really many times um if you i feel like i'm personally not going to opera uh, very often to be honest so i feel like having a bag like this a black color it just makes a lot of sense let's say i'm going personally maybe once a year um to opera and once a year to Bali or once a year to theater, then having a one bag for those occasions is absolutely fine, you know, for me personally. For someone who is not going all the time, you know, I have kids, small kids, so there's not much time for me to just enjoy those events. I would really need to have um, someone to take care of my kid, like my mom coming from Poland or something like this, but from another point of view, I really like to go with her as well. So this need to be a really good planning if I want to go to event like this um, right now with small kids, having small kids. And um, so for that reason, having a one bag is absolutely enough. If you are a person who really, maybe don't have a kids, maybe, uh, or you have a kids that already are a little bit bigger and you are able to go more often for those kind of events then obviously you can have more bags than one um, you don't need to have only one right um, you can have more if you feel like you're going maybe once a week or once even a month you know that's quite often then that means you're going to go 12 times a year which is quite a lot, you know, I'm not talking that you're going to only go for opera all the time, maybe you go for some kind of like classic music, for whatever, whatever, you know. As I'm saying, even going with your friends, you want to have some kind of nice bag with you. So for that reason, you might invest in more um, than one bag, like an evening bag. Um, I have a bag that I would probably wear with friends, I would go for something a little bit more like casual, still elegant casual, but I wouldn't necessarily go for this bag. But if I would go for some kind of like, a, like I'm saying, if I would go to theater, then this is going to be my go-to. And this is going to be my go-to bag. 
when it comes to royalties you can get honestly so many inspiration there's so many beautiful bags and you can see what they're wearing and that's going to be you know that's most of the time royalties like british even royalties like there's so many pictures of this of cambridge going to some kind of events then i think she's really great inspiration when it comes to evening bags because um there's lots of pictures about her and you can really see what is she wearing and if she's wearing something very very she's most of the time wearing very classic style then you know that you can't really go wrong with something like this uh, to give you an example i have this picture over here i'm going to look at it on my phone because that's just going to be easier for me when i'm talking about this outfit and the bag and you can see she is wearing this kind of like a little beautiful uh, like a pale blue dress with like a sheer a very sheer material on her arms and then you can see she's holding this kind of very like a sparkling very very little um bag that it's just absolutely um lovely it's like a glitter type of uh, bag and um obviously you're not going to have a lot of uh, items in this kind of in type of the bag like this but when you're going for those kind of events um, that are more elegant, more like a black tie events, then obviously you're not necessarily need to take a whole, um, you know, full bag with you of some kind of, you know, items. Like you really need maybe some kind of um, little money, maybe a, your phone, and I believe phone would probably fit in something like this. And that's it. Sometimes you don't even need your phone, but. We're living in the time when we actually really, all of us, we carry our phones with us all the time. Uh, obviously, she's a person who actually has security with her, who people who can carry stuff for her. So she doesn't really need to worry about this. So the bag might be even empty. She might not have anything in this bag and she just carry it for an um, accessory. But it's really, really classic type of bag, very, very um, luxury looking and those kind of sparkling bag, sparkling bags are really great for um, black tie events as well. Another lady which we all know um, is Princess Diana and she has kind of very like a famous look, that's the picture here and with the pearls with like a very very like a staple um, type of um, necklace she has very like a beautiful dress that's showing her arms which is very very sexy and um, type of dress black ties black shoes and the dress is just kind of like a long um, almost like a tail following her whatever she's um, going to and you can see she's actually wearing a small um, like a black bag which works really perfect for this type of outfit and um, black bags overall looks really good for many many colors many many outfits so it's very classic type of bag and that's why i'm saying it's very versatile and um, something like this as well it's really really stunning and i think you can get inspired by princess diana's outfit many like she wore so many beautiful outfits so many beautiful bags and um, it doesn't matter that it was it was long time ago um, comparing to let's say Princess of Cambridge wearing um, her bag for on many occasions because she was wearing very very classic as well when you wear classic you know the items staying in fashion they don't really just disappear like trends and so that's why classic fashion is very very like um, you can wear it for many many years you can wear it forever and it's going to be always um, suitable and it's going to always look very very elegant let's focus for a second on a spanish royalty because one of really first videos i actually made was about queen leticia of spain and she's absolutely gorgeous woman she's such an icon and i think if you didn't see that video then i'm going to put a link on the top this was like honestly one of the first videos i made about royalty Team. and i have a picture here of a beautiful red very strong red dress and the red goes really well with silver and you can see that she has some kind of like a silver bracelet and a bag that is um very basically silver color and looks absolutely fantastic with her red lips and a silver jewelry she also has her earrings um and it just shows you that the evening bags going either for black or going for sparkle, this you can't really go wrong with that. This is just beautiful, beautiful 
um, type of bag. Another very classic type of bag, uh, another classic way to choose the bag for um, like an evening bag for your outfit is to match it to your uh, dress basically um, or like your suit if you would go for something this way more muscular and um, that's another beautiful um, sample again Queen Leticia she has this kind of beautiful I think it's a dress but it might not be because um, it's actually on the bottom you can see that it looks like trousers but overall her outfit um, is absolutely stunning with showing one shoulder again very sexy way of um, showing you know your being modest but still showing a little bit of your skin and arms and overall like this part of your body this um, your bones over here this is very sexy area for a lady and she actually matched the back to her outfit which is absolutely fantastic way to do it as well and she's wearing this kind of like a like a box type of back and as I'm saying it's navy navy dark navy color as well works really really beautiful with whole outfit because it's monochrome so we talk about black, we talk about sparkling bags, we talk about matching back to your outfit and as well matching back to your to like the detail of your outfit. So you're not necessarily going to match the back to the main color, but you're going to back the mat the, you're going to match the back to the color of some kind of detail. And that's what um, happened here with um, Duchess of Cambridge. She has this kind of pinkish dress, I would say, with some kind of like a um, white going on with basically it's very like a <laughs> we have to explain this color like a bordeaux i would um, say color of like wine um, and then she has this kind of like a um, belt around the waist and she is matching the back to this kind of belt um, to the color of the belt um, but overall this is the idea as well to just match the back to one element uh, that's not the main thing on your dress but it gives you um, a nice accent and I think this is a really nice uh, way to do it as well but um, in this situation you just need to remember that you would need to have many more bags than just a black one like I have for example because obviously each dress is going to have a different element, each dress is going to have different colors. So this is just for people who like to, for ladies who like to have more uh, in their collection, you know. But I think this is a really nice idea to do as well. Okay, I think that's it for today, for when it comes to evening bags. Obviously, um, you can go for many different companies. You can go for whatever it's suitable for your wallet as well. Um, and you don't necessarily need to buy something like a Kelly bag or a mess bag. Um, it's all really finding your sweet spot and buying something that you're going to be happy with, but not necessarily buying something that you're going to really worry about as well, that you spent all your money or something. Um, Elegant uh, fashion doesn't need to be boring. Elegant fashion doesn't need to be very expensive as well. So it is really finding whatever works for you. Um, for me, this is the ideal bag and I just love it so much. That's why I couldn't help myself and I needed to talk about it uh, a little bit because it's just... Um, so so lovely um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave it a thumbs up and see you in the next episode